Take it away. You know, I've been reflecting on how many engineers took part in creating our greenhouses. Yeah, and can you believe that those same engineers actually helped design the rest of the city too? Well, I declare, all this new technology being introduced into the city, I just want to go back to the good old days when we planted the crops ourselves. Back in the day, we used three things. Hands, sweat, and good old-fashioned know-how. Now y'all folks using those new fandang robotic harvesters, whatever you be calling them, and those genetically improved plants, the penoy and the chilio. What's up with those names, and why'd you make them? Excuse me, mister. I believe we haven't been introduced yet. I do apologize. Got all fired up and forgot to introduce myself. I'm Farmer Jeb Jones from Sunnybrook Farms, past Eaton Holler. Had to come to the big city, see what all this fussing was about. Nice to meet you, Jeb. I'm Zaria Ben, and this is Xavier Zinge. I'm the head engineer, and Xavier's the head scientist that helped to design this masterpiece of modern technology. First of all, the Pinoe plant is a genetically combined pinto and soybean. The chilio is a genetically combined tomato and chili pepper plant. Sounds a little risky in all these plant combinations of sorts. Are you sure folks really eat them? Actually, the pinoe tastes like a pinto bean, but retained all the benefits of a pinto and soybean. And the chilio tastes like a spicy tomato, but retained all the benefits of a tomato and chili pepper. Our citizens love it. Well now, not everyone has a hankering for a spicy tomato, and robots sounds awfully expensive. What's yours for that? We did carefully consider the trade-offs of our solution. So, we genetically created a chilio without the spiciness, and we offset the cost by generating excess energy using wind turbines, and we offer tax breaks to our investors. Traditionally, these plants would be grown in rural farms. However, due to the futuristic thinking of our engineers, we are way ahead of our time in 2025. We have developed an integrated system called FIGS, or Fully Integrated Growing System. The system is located in vertical tubes that are integrated into the walls of the Air Verde Gorge. Robotic drones manage all stages of production, from placing the seed into germination pouch through cultivation and harvesting the crop. Our merry-go-round concept allows plants to take maximum advantage of natural sunlight as they are revolved continuously inside the tubes. Figs, merry-go-round, sounds a little cattywamper to me. Are you sure the system is reliable? How can I trust a bunch of city folks growing enough food to feed thousands of people? You know as well as I do, space is right tight in the city. It can't be worth a hoot and a holler. It takes thousands of acres anyway to keep people alive. Actually, it used to take thousands of acres. However, due to our engineering design process, well, we're able to create practical yet futuristic solutions for growing food in the city. This system includes defining the problem, which is how to grow food in an urban environment, learning the specs, such as the solution, the technology, the infrastructure needed, also identifying key elements such as energy efficient solutions and also identifying the risk, benefits, and trade-offs of solution. Next, we brainstorm about it, then we design and build it, and finally, we test and improve it. And now, we're sharing it. Using this method of design, we're able to create the best solution possible. Also, in our growing tubes, we have delved in system integration. So using sunlight imitating LED lights, which are interspersed between the plant leaves. And since each leaf receives maximum lighting, they receive maximum benefits from vitamins, minerals, and they actually grow 10 times faster than any traditional growing system. Also, sensors are strategically placed throughout the growing tubes, and they're all linked to the master control system. These sensors regulate sunlight, humidity, water, nutrients, fresh air, and temperature levels. For an example, if a sensor detects less than optimal light needed, then the LED intensity will be increased in that quadrant. And oh yeah, I almost forgot. 
We don't use soil. So all the plants are suspended and all the roots are sprayed with a mist that contains all the nutrients and enzymes needed for ideal growth. Well, have you considered the